Hello there, everybody. Playing my uh, match here with Chashu from Team Japan for the World Cup. And right now the match is, U.S. is down. So if I lose this match, we're eliminated from the tournament. Um, if I win it, then it's going to come down to the outcome of another match. And then potentially games, number of games and stuff could matter too. But I'm not going to go into all of that right now. So let's take a look at the board. It looks somewhat money-ish, right? I mean, the only, um, the only non-money-ish thing you would try to possibly do is like double tack. That's going to be pretty hard. He would do poachers and probably some death cards, but if you're going money ish, you're just looking for counterfeits and then I guess swamp hags and maybe some market squares. Um, primarily. Then, of course, as the game extends, fairgrounds could definitely come into play. I mean, you can certainly get to 15 here, no problem. There are enough reasonably good kingdom cards. Um, potentially even higher with ruins, but that's not especially likely. Um, but it's not impossible, I guess, <laughs> to get to get to eight point fairgrounds. So I think Swamp Hag is going to be pretty important, and then. Likely, you're going to want to um, <clears throat> you can also do do cotton to market square stuff. It's not terrible here. but it's all sorry, pardon me. Hit the microphone thing. So he's open poacher, which seems fine to me, to be honest, as an opening. Um, poacher silver looks pretty reasonable. Silver silver looks reasonable. Navigator silver looks not totally crazy. I'm going to follow with the poacher, I think. You can do poacher market square if you're really committed to trying to do the ducat thing. I'm more inclined to try and do a silver and get to five. And then we'll see later on if, if market squares are the best way to get golds or not. Hmm. He just goes with the silver. We'll see if he does counterfeit or swap bag first. It's going to be a little interesting. I'm leaning towards counterfeit, but I can see swamp bag. Gets a counterfeit, I think that's good. Got a 50-50 here on this draw for hitting five twice, and same for him. He gets it. I expect a hag, but you could do another counterfeit. If I get four, I'll probably take a market square.
But five, I'll definitely... You could do second counterfeit, too. That's not crazy. I don't believe it's crazy, anyway. So, so far, we've just had basically identical draws. I mean, more... I mean, pr purely identical draws and buys. Um, we'll see how this shuffle goes as far as us sticking together. He didn't get to play his um, hag, which is nice. Hopefully it's bottom decked. Um, I'm not sure if he's going. I was going to say, I don't think you go for a Ducat buy yet. I'm going to probably get a second counterfeit. Well, maybe just a second hag. I can do both, right? I'm going to be able to hit five on my next turn as well. His hag did not miss. We'll see if he chooses to take the curse or not. He does. I could just pass on the hag or on the curse by. Or I could get a third hag. Um, try and make that attacking really good before the shuffle. There's always some chance of collision, but... <clears throat> he gets two buys in here, which is probably pretty good for him. This will be a market square for me. Um, I'm going to have at least some hag collision. We'll see if he gets a third hag. Then we'll be back to pretty much even. He's probably not going to... Okay, he gets a tactician. That's reasonable. It's a good way to actually activate market squares. It's not clear that Ducat's worth it without a trash, to me anyway. I had triple collision, which is... And counterfeit with nothing. So this was a really, really, really bad draw for me and quite unlikely <laughs> to have all of these things happen. But even if I had swapped the swamp hag by for a counterfeit buy, we'd still be in we'd still be in sad times. Because what's that, what's well, there are a number of unfortunate things of course about this draw <laughs> so he gets another swamp hag it seems fine <clears throat> pretty sad I'm just gonna play the poacher and pass I think um Not clear to me. This is nice that I do get a hag down on his tactician turn. Again, I don't think just a ducat on its own is worth it. It might be, but. These are not very happy draws, but I'll probably just pass anyway because of him playing like two Swamp Hags.
Maybe he'll buy five ruins. Double double death cart. So he does take. He goes ahead and takes the. Um, for me, you know, I'm just not. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have a swamp hag. He does. That's a little unfortunate. For me, I'm just not in a rush here to get the provinces. I think we can swap to fairgrounds later on, and it'll be okay. <clears throat> in fact, I don't really, there's no incentive for me to take provinces yet. I didn't get a hag down, which is unfortunate. He's had a little bit better, I think. Well, I don't know what his hand is, so it's not clear. Um, I didn't get three with this thing, so this isn't great. Probably better just not to play the market square. So I'm only getting one in this shuffle. We're still not really hitting him much. Or I'm not hitting him much. At some point, I have to take them, but when that is, I don't know. Okay, I get to buy something here. Probably I should get it into the shuffle. Maybe it should be Ducat or something. I need to watch Trashing the Last Gold. Or trashing the last... Well, I can rebuy it pretty easily. <clears throat> I would like to get a tech... I would have bought a tactician if I could have got it in into the shuffle, but since I can't... I hope, I hope, I hope that I have a Swamp Hag top deck, but that's obviously not very likely. So, um, I have my th 
maybe not all three, but at least two of them are down in here in the bottom. That was just bad luck. Not really anything I can do about it. In some sense, he's going to get golds. So. Yeah, it would have been really nice if I had gotten a thing down, but. I'm a bit f worried. We can try to draw it. Yeah, that helps a little bit. <clears throat> I'm probably being too f scared of curses, but I... Um, it's just something I'm trying, to be honest. I haven't, uh, in general, done that a lot. Tried the, um, the strategy of not taking curses. So I'm gonna try it here. Do I have a copper? I mean, I can always take these I'm going to try and get the fairgrounds up to 15. I can go for that at some point, but <clears throat> when that is, I'm not totally sure. He bought a ruined library, which is like basically just purely a fairgrounds play. I guess is fine, but it's a little strange. Um, I could take a mine. This is a. Uh, I need to figure out the uniques though. I assume I have a copper still. Yeah, I still have coppers. At least two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm at thirteen uniques already so that's without duchy as well i think <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14. Maybe he's going for the, the five point, sir, eight point fairgrounds. He's probably, his fairgrounds are probably already six. I don't know if there's an advantage to playing a market square or not. If I'm still in cycling mode. He played a swamp hag. I don't feel the need to get any of these things at the moment. Obviously, he's like way ahead of me in points, but I should be able to score a pretty good amount here. And then, um, 
The only issue is the death cart's piling a little. That's a little bit of a problem. He can buy a ruins. Yeah, this is the uh, um, the bigger issue maybe right now for me. And he has buy too, so the runes are pretty easy to, to empty. I have to score a lot in a pretty short period of time. Which is just not going to happen. I don't believe. Um, stay here is pretty bad, but what else? I guess I could try to get to the bigger three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm at fifteen. So that's not even possible. Well it is. I have one, two, three. Eh. I'd have to get two unique ruins. How many fairgrounds even do I get? Like, that's not even that many points. He has so many fairgrounds, it's the problem. Um. I have to get province, right? So I need to draw. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I have to buy a province, but it's still not going to do anything for me. And I drew the other swamp hag, of course, which is baloney. I guess playing the swamp hags isn't as big a deal now, but... Like if I had drawn copper here and got to play Swamp Pack and still by province, it'd be something. But now he just waits till he draws a counterfeit on a gold or something, or tactician or whatever it is. Death cart probably gets him the fairgrounds. Yeah, it's just too many points. Oh, I played that in the wrong order. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, cause I should have drawn the gold. Not that that would have been all that great. I wouldn't have mattered. It just simply would not have mattered. Um. But having the gold would have been nice. Counterfeiting gold would have made this turn uh, better, but not. So I could have gone up to like 44 maybe. I don't really know. I didn't get that many fairgrounds, to be honest. <clears throat> so I'm a bit lost. More than a bit. I don't even think there was the uniques left to get it there, right? It just doesn't exist. He can just buy Ruin Village. I don't know. All right, that's one for them, though. He just first played those, so it wasn't the end of the world. Um, 
Yeah, he did get to the 20. That was nice for him to get there. I felt. I had some pretty bad Swamp Hag collision, but probably I should be taking curses. Sooner. And there are some other different things to do, of course. Uh, this has got no draw. But otherwise, it has a lot of stuff, but no draw. So it's going to be a little tough to do anything here. 5-2 would be bonkers good. Um... I guess you can do the guaranteed five if you want to, or you can just do something that's like really likely to hit five. Um, between the Ironmonger Poacher tournament, well, you wouldn't take Poacher over tournament, but you might take Ironmonger over it. Um, then I guess you can do Night Watchman if you want to guarantee hitting trading post next shuffle next turn that might be okay I'm going to try it. So we do one discard here. Draw the silver. I guess maybe, I don't know, tournament you might have be forced to make it so that if playing the tournament you cause a shuffle, right? Well, I guess you got four coppers. You could bottom deck tournament on your Night Watchman reveal. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that could stop it. I think. Maybe there are other draws where it doesn't work. I'd have to think about it. But anyway, he's right into it now, so he has this rather than... Um, I can buy five. I guess you can do diadem for dominate here if you want. I don't know if that's any good, but it's a thing you could do. He drew his trading post. Hopefully that last card is not a night watchman. I will probably take a tournament here. It is a Night Watchman, that sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad for me. This is a pretty good draw. Nothing to complain about anyway. Um, man, prizes, prizes are gonna be good here, for sure. I think second tournament is all right. You can buy a gold and then play Night Watchman and like have a really good shot at buying province. So 
something like Merchant Guild or Diadem is like the only really practical way of getting to dominate here. I mean, you could get to play a million tournaments uncontested, I guess, as possible. But Artisan is good-ish, but I would rather do things that got me to province faster, I think. Um, we'll see. It's certainly not unreasonable to get to be able to gain ironmongers, workers, villages, and tournaments when you feel like it. Okay. This is pretty good for me. I am going to try the gold and I guess if I discard trading post it's guaranteed province but I should discard more um, I have no estates left There's two silvers, at least two silvers in the bottom too. I should just play discard all right. Like I'll have a tournament down there, but I can just buy province. Is it possible for him to buy the province and I'm gonna do it this way. <clears throat> I think it's it's okay. Either way. Merchant Killed I dislike quite a lot. Um, I don't get to block these, which would have helped me quite a bit. <clears throat> if he doesn't have province in hand, he probably will have it next turn. Well, depending. Um, is there any upside to playing this tournament? I might be able to draw trading post, I guess, is the main thing that could have upside. Um, obviously, there are a number of potential downsides. Otherwise, I'd probably just buy. I mean, the, the upsides are just general shuffle or general cycling. Um, downsides are drawing tournaments or province, or well, most everything else is fine. Like gold, fine. I would just buy another province. <coughs> Silver's good. Okay. This could be nightmare, but it didn't, so that's nice. <coughs> um I don't like his merchant guilds. I think they're really terrible. I don't know what prize I should get. Probably followers. But he's going to miss immediately. Um, no. 
but the attack is super nice. <coughs> so I should probably get maybe an artisan myself, maybe not. I mean, maybe I just I mean, maybe I just buy provinces. Like maybe I just buy golds in provinces. The fear, of course, is like the length of the game becoming an issue. And then him catching on tower points, I guess. Something like tower and dominate, but it's so hard. It's going to be hard. I drew a province, which is unfortunate, but there's another one in there. Um, I'm not sure. <coughs> it's coin of the realm. It's hard when he he has three tournaments. I'm going to block a lot of them. He still didn't go for a prize there, or province there. So he's sort of committed to this. Um, I don't know, do I want a coin? Coin's not very good for me. Artisan's not really that good for me either. <laughs> I really don't know why I bought the Artisan. Here I can get another prize. Maybe I can empty silvers with Steed. Like, yeah, he can get those, but what does it do? Like if I take Diadem now, what does it do for him if he just doesn't have it available to him? He's clearly going for a tower thing at this point, but he'd have a province. There's no threat yet. Um, let's buy another one. It's like he has other stuff. It's like, okay, you'll have 20 coins of the realm. What does it do for you? I mean, I guess if he gets the diadem. I won't draw. So I'll have to draw. I don't I just don't get it. It is beyond my understanding. Maybe that should have been a tournament for me. Um, this doesn't matter hugely. I'm probably going to play this anyway. Uh, do I want the Night Watchman? That particular play there isn't clear to me that that was good, <laughs> to be honest. <clears throat> I 
Like he's going to dominate now, I guess. <coughs> and then what's he do the rest of the game? Could get princess. Um, He gonna dominate again? Maybe he will. He's gotta buy a bunch of coppers now. Dominates fifteen points. So Yeah, maybe maybe he'll just beat me. Straight up. <clears throat> I have to get two provinces. Yeah, he probably beats me. I mean, it depends on if I find followers and stuff, but... I mean, he still needs quite a draw. Um, I guess he could have province in hand. Does bag of gold get me there if I gain it? If he doesn't block, if I gain bag of gold, does it get there? I guess double duchy also is pretty good. Um, bag of gold is also guaranteed if I get it, if he's not blocking, so. Or like princess, I think. Yeah, what he did was interesting. I don't, I don't, I'd be interested in it maybe played a little bit differently. I could be convinced that something like that is, is the way to go, but I think you gotta maybe get trashed down a little bit or maybe you just buy, I don't know, somehow the timing of when he got the coffers was just pretty slow so this is like a big 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 engine so you want vampire really badly I guess you can open it <clears throat> so you open silver vampire and then you get your potion I don't think you have to open potion Um, I guess you could 
expedition. He could expedition. He probably wants to expedition. Um, not sure it makes much sense for me to. Yeah, I, I would believe in an expedition for him. But I don't have that option. But I, I like it for him. This will be a potion for me. Assuming I don't have something that... I guess there wasn't any hex that could make that not happen. <clears throat> and then once you have the potion, you mostly want to be expeditioning for your buy. I mean, if it's sub 5 some conspirator. Yeah, I don't even know that you'd ever want to buy a conspirator over buying an expedition. This will be a wharf gain and then yeah, except for that. This hurts. This is like the best boon or best hex he could have probably gotten there, I think. That's the only one that prevents me from expeditioning. So um, anyway, I don't have any real options there. Like even fear, fear would be would have been nice to hit, but like fear fear would have stopped me too. Yeah. Okay. So there were two, and apparently they were both on top, which is kind of funny. Um, diluted wouldn't have mattered. Diluted would matter now, but he didn't have a vampire now, of course. Um, this is okay. He still not have a vampire, so this will be a trash and. Expedition. Easy. We both bottom decked wharf, sort of. So that's interesting. I was really lucky to draw the vampire now. <clears throat> um, if I had found the university, that would have been really nice. Diluted could come at a time where it does basically nothing, or it could come at a time where it really hurts. It's hard to, it's hard to say. I'm surprised if he's taking an engineer. I'm not certain I like that, to be honest. <laughs> he's having troubles. He's going to, you just do it, just... Um, I, I don't, I don't like an engineer if you're going to go for that now. Apparently has bat, so yeah, that, that makes sense. I don't know about the engineer, but the, the rest of it certainly makes sense. Um, this will be a second vampire. And then... Go ahead and get the other wharf into the shuffle. <clears throat> and then I'm going to move to maybe some baker gaining. It's not crazy. Okay. Hmm, this is actually a little bit tough. I only have one university, right? I believe. So I probably just trash one, even though that's not ideal. I think the village is important. This was actually not that great of a turn for me. But it was okay-ish. You probably survive with four wars. How many wars do I have now? Three. You probably live with four. You can probably live with four. It's not a, um, 
Yeah, the engineer's okay, but you can also just gain those later on pretty easily. Envious may hurt, depending on what my bottom two cards are. Fortunately, it doesn't. I'm just going to Expedition. I don't want an engineer yet. I'm going to wait. I still haven't been able to trash an estate, but I will get to here. So that's cool. Um... Now these will be bakers for me. I'm I think I can live with two war or with four wars, but it'll depend on how the rest of these draws go. It's definitely not uh your preferred number maybe. It's one way to put it. There's a little set well, I'll probably get back around to drawing it, so it's not a huge deal. I can get a journeyman, I could get a tormentor, I could get a soothsayer. Now do I have the terminal space to buy an engineer? I should, right? Whether it's worth it, I don't know. I'm going to say no until I'm drawing deck. Discard attacks now could hurt expeditions quite a bit. Maybe he miss warps. That would be nice. No. He's definitely ahead. If he gets when when he gets two warps down, it's pretty rough. He also got to trash his states much earlier than me. But <clears throat> Still uh, not decided. Oh, I have two vampires. Okay. Now it may be decided unless I have top deck a wharf. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, gosh. Like, yeah. That's just what can you do? You just put your hands up, right? Um, you know, you can't make the, you can't make that stuff appear. So now there's two wharves down here, no villages. Um, it's going to be tough. I must think double expedition. Though it's really bad if we don't get any villages. <clears throat> and we're not seeing a lot of carts. Um, it's like War Fourth Bat or War Fourth Vampire, I mean. That's really rotten bottom deck. Um So, I think it has to be this, like the draw is so bad. Uh, that was okay. -ish. Definitely piles are a concern. Um, we probably need to score some here. <clears throat> So I need some conspirators, actually. I 
I have a small points lead. I don't have great pile threat compared to him. I don't know if he ever trashed his engineer. He still has his engineer. Um... Still has a vampire play this turn. And he got three wharfs down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if I had played wharves the previous turn, I'm not sure I, I could make it anywhere. This is okay, actually. This is a fine um, thing to receive. I have to think. I have three bakers, or I have three. Um, conspirator. University gains. Let's think. <clears throat> so. We can get to tie points pretty easily with a province duchy by. Um, so we gained three conspirators, then we would need twenty dollars to win. I don't think I have that, <laughs> frankly. Um, to tie, not even to win, to tie. Potential win, potential win off Vampire. Maybe not, I don't know what's left. I don't think there are any, I think the points related ones have already come. Um, and I don't think there's anything that helps with gaining. So, cause I would have to, I could gain three conspirators, but then I would need to buy three and get a province. Um, and that would be twenty dollars. And I have five coffer things. And then I have uh some number of coppers and a silver. I guess I'm adding six bucks. Eleven. I have a conspirator, right? So that's eight, thirteen. Yeah, I probably have the money. I think we go for it. I don't know if we have the draw, the overdraw, to pick it all up, or the buys to make it work. <sighs> These are three conspirators, right? So if we get, if we had drawn one of them or whatever, not bottom decked as many as we had and drawn, we could have got there. Maybe I didn't have a conspirator. That also, I maybe just was doing my math wrong. Probably I was just way off, just a million miles off. This is pretty bad. I mean, we know he'll have uh, the gains to finish it. So, I mean, that was never really in question, though, right? I mean, I wasn't going to win anyway unless I won right now. Um, I don't think there were ever... Uh, boons or hexes that were going to bail me out. So I guess it's not impossible for him to have drawn totally dead, but I don't think it's really in the cards. I didn't get to play any of the conspirators, so I guess if they were still in there, how many could he have gotten? Um, oh, I don't know if he, he probably halted his turn early just once he had it in hand I mean he must have halted it early right he had more conspirators 
I think it was a reasonable thing to go for, though it's not actually clear um, that it had any chance of success, or it's extremely clear it had no chance of success. <laughs> I'd have to go back and count if I actually had the money or not. I don't. I don't know that I did. So. Um, this isn't exactly what I wanted to see as far as boards. I don't love playing goons. Someone's going to have the 3-4 th the instead of the 4-3, right? <laughs> Someone's going to get the open goons or whatever. There's no villages. There's very little trashing to speak of. Um, this doesn't have wisp on it, otherwise you would probably do that. The old VP is going to do worse than just buying platinum, but playing goons is pretty important. 3-4 is, is bad. I mean, I can open silos and then... But, and then what? I think Silas is fine here. It's not great because of the goons attack, but. I can open Silver and Fairy. Or Secret Passage and Fairy, I guess. But if you have the 3 4, you just get to open goons. Um. Or is Alter better? Like, is it better to change credit cards into secret passages? I don't know. It's really hard for me to judge that. <clears throat> My plan is just to ferry goons and, like, buy secret passages and additional goons until you have, like maybe three goons, two or three goons, and then buy treasures. I like, platinum is pretty good, but platinum is extremely good, but secret passages are nice. Trashing here is hard. It's all pain. Probably you can take a silos at some point. Does he just have it right off the bat? Well, whatever. We can. It won't be game over. It could be very bad depending on how the draws go, but it's not game over anyway. Um, I guess you can also like I could have faked having the three four. So he opts for Alter, which I think is, is reasonable. Um, I don't know if it's better or not, but it's reasonable for sure. I guess he can shift his fairy token now. My draws have been so bad. Not very good. They'll probably play goons before me. <laughs> Just like, what can you do? That's life. It's not over. I should say focus, because if I lose this, then I think we're just done. Um... That's not true. I can tie and we can still be okay. Uh, potentially. Um, this is this, and then this next hand with goons probably gets hit by goons. Not that actually doesn't matter, <laughs> but. <laughs> this is just what. My life's going to be this game, I think. 
by Secret Passage. He's already ahead on that stuff. I mean, I guess if I can get up to Platinum first, I have a good shot, or okay shot, doing something nice. Maybe? I don't know. He's getting in Druids. I don't love that, to be honest. It was sad to have Collision, but that's just how it goes. It's not actually clear I can like hit a uh, um hit a platinum very easily. He trashes. That's all right. And I will probably just finish. Oh, he gets potion. I don't know that I like that all that much. I think I can eventually... I think that eventually I can get I just don't think they're worth that much I just don't think they're, they're ever worth that much right you can get them up to if you buy a lot of druids you can get them up to something but you have to have a lot of druids To have a crazy number of druids. I guess I can buy coppers. Is that any good? Probably not. The gold is down in here somewhere. Um, I don't know. Does he hit a? Do we reach a point where how much are his vineyards worth for? I guess the good thing about vineyards is just that he can put a buy on it. Um, that he can he can buy it with goons, you know. That maybe is good for him. Uh, no, I don't think I want to trigger. So we'll do like this. <clears throat> Will he ever not play goons? And will that allow at any point allow me to buy a platinum? And will that matter? These are my questions. He only has two goons, so it very well could fail to play goons at some point. I think I think that's well within the realm of possibility. I mean, maybe this works. I knew that was going to happen. That's just been my day-to-day, -day, right? Right, every single wall time. There's not been a... <laughs> there's no world where I don't have that happen. Two 
to me. I mean, I don't know if there was even any real upside to me. Uh, you know, not, not playing it, but... I shouldn't buy the copper. The copper is bad. I shouldn't even think about buying the copper. Um, how am I on fairgrounds? Probably a really awful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. Yeah. So fairgrounds are not great. Provinces are okay. I think we cycle a little more. It doesn't. Probably help very much. But. I still have a long game. I got to remember that. There's a lot of game left. Do silvers help? The copper was bad because there's a long game. <clears throat> Silver might not be that bad though <laughs> if I'm buying provinces. Which is probably what I should aim for as far as VP goes. probably about where I should be aiming. Okay. This probably makes no sense. Whatever I just did. Um, I may want to set up so that fairgrounds are not completely awful. So his vineyards are going to be worth like a lot. He should he should miss Goon's plays eventually. He only has two. And he has a huge deck now. He's only trashed three cards. He's bought two vineyards, seven druids. He should eventually fail to find a goons. Okay, this is a colony, which is great. Or alternatively, like a platinum. And a druid. I guess. I don't know how I end it. That's my challenge here is figuring out what the finish could be. It could be estates as a third pile. That's not crazy. But right now I don't have the points to support it. Could just be fairgrounds, like I just go for a long game playing goons pretty often, get the fairgrounds. That's a possibility. <clears throat> uh, 
I would probably want another um, yeah so now he just moves to bishops that's reasonable or you know good that's good for him uh, we definitely kind of have that on the bottom Now I'm up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uniques. So five bucks here. Not the best bucks of all time. I didn't see the charm. I've mean, not gone through that shuffle yet. <clears throat> if he buys bishops up, how does that scoring go for him? I didn't get any druids, so it's not as easy as it might have been for me to get um, fairgrounds to, t to 15 uniques. There's obviously a lot of treasures, but potion helps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-one. 10, 11, 12, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Vineyard's worth a lot. Probably gonna draw another goons. Good vineyards for him. <laughs> I've not hit six, which doesn't really work. There's no secret fountain. The golds are not not hanging out. Druid's really good for what he's doing. For sure. Man, he's just going to empty those vineyards, isn't he? I didn't play this the way I ought to have to do what I wanted to do. But, um, and I'm not even sure it beats what he's doing, to be honest. But I didn't play it correctly to get there. For sure. And then the other thing is that my early draws were sad, <laughs> but that's not a good enough excuse for this amount of terrible terribleness on my part. Um, here's a province which helps. Again, I'm not going to have three pile threats so he can keep... Once he gets these last two vineyards, which are going to be worth just huge amounts of points for him, um, I'm just not going to be able to catch him. Well, the game will be over for one, but like one more even, I guess, is the way to put it. Even if he gets one more, he'll be just completely out of range points-wise. <clears throat> yeah. 
and he's going to be getting a, you know, he'll upgrade the vineyard shortly probably as well. The Bishop Trash is kind of funny. Um, I would literally need to get... I would need to get another colony, right, to even have a shot. <clears throat> I mean, if he has a potion in hand, then it's just over. Otherwise, I need more turns, so I need to get score a little bit and then hope I get a... Yeah, there's not a... This is just not a real... Not a real world... I could have, of course, had a province there, but that's just two more points. I assume he has the potion. Well, he's digging for it, so he probably didn't have it yet in hand, but... Yeah, like, if I had a potion in my deck, I think a potion by now would win. I think I do have enough... Uh, actions that it would have won but I would have had to pick up a potion of course and I don't know that there was actually a good spot for me to do that maybe before the shuffle like maybe there's a world where having that threat works how many actions did I have nine so they were three points so it might have worked I'm not sure anyway that one hurts because I was first player but um, he did have the better split. I don't. He didn't do it. I would have done with the better split, but he did get to open a six, which I couldn't possibly do. So I have to win out, or the U.S. is eliminated. Um, which will be tough. Hmm. I'm not sure here. There's not actually draw. We haven't had, we had that one board. Um, but other than that, we haven't really had the, the real engine boards. We've had quite a lot of just kind of junk. I mean, I, I like these kinds of boards sprinkled in, but five or six of them is a little more than you'd prefer. Um, so you can, like, develop chariot race stuff. There's really nothing here. Maybe open develop exploration. Like even if there was draw, there's no villages or vice versa. So I do like the develop opening. Um, I'm going to pair it with exploration, I think. He goes with sea hag. I think I'm going to try and play without sea hag. Just get more develops. Obviously, there's some risk here of getting blown out by curses, I guess, but... Um, that sea hag hit was fine. tracker do oh this is gonna be tough
nobody's hitting yet. Is there any advantage to me to take to spin those? I don't think so. This is going to be just a bunch of sadness. <laughs> like it's just going to be this, either someone hits or not. Right now he is more likely to hit just on deck composition for sure. So I don't really know. I mean, I don't know if he buys now. Does he buy mills? Does he buy just go straight into the distant lands or what? I don't know. Obviously, he's got a nice thing with my first play of Chariot Race being automatically bad. It's definitely an interesting thing. Um, I'm going to go with a mill, I think. He gets a duplicate, which is interesting. He's really going to hit the distant land stuff. I think at least that seems what he's going to go for. I guess he's going to try and do a lot of distant lands. Um, advance into distant land stuff. Still, it's just going to come on this. It's just going to be on this <laughs> just over and over again. Hopefully, he doesn't have Sea Hag. Yeah. It's just over and over again, it's going to be on these chariot races. So I'm going to try and trash, to be honest. I'm going to... Yeah, and he has a four on top, so I don't hit ever there. <clears throat> just unfortunate here at least I can play the mill first when he puts a curse on top I mean if I can get clean It's not, if the game lasts long enough and I win a lot of chariot races, I can win. That's basically it. But if he finds some way to finish, then, or if he repeatedly has that stuff, then there's no way. Unfortunately, I'm kind of lowering piles too, so... Too many coppers. I feel like the only thing I need to buy is like actual gold. This is good. He'll probably flip it, but still. Um, yeah, I have to win cherry race over and over and over again. Can't happen. Won't happen. Not unless I can kill more of these guys. <coughs> Which
which has just been slow. I mean, of course, he's putting them back in, so that's not that's not surprising. I feel like six is okay. To spend on like a something. Say your grow is not crazy. I just don't know the timing of it. Like, if we want a gold, do we want it now? Probably. It's literally just there to hope it wins some cherry races. <clears throat> he plays a duplicate again? No. He's still, he's gonna, he's gonna get me on this distant lance thing. And I'm never gonna score. The curses will go. Probably won't even have two. Oh, I did have two developed targets, so that's something. The goal was bottom deck. This will be a province. I'd say that, like, how can I guarantee that at all? He can't, of course. He has five here, double distant lands. That's so bad. Or double mills, even. That's fine, too, for him. He chose not to, which I think is a little weird. But he can also just wait till it's an actual finish. That was just me playing bad. I didn't, uh... No, 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 no. Well, I knew I had a curse. I should have played the mill first. Um, so that was just thoughtless on my part. Um, there are no, there is no joy in Mudville. I don't know. What that now he can double whatever. Yeah, the curses will run. I think he's playing these weird kingdoms like way better than me i mean i feel like in some degree to some degree if i follow on this it's doesn't work out but and then of course there was some randomness at the start but i think he's playing these weird decks really not really well to be honest um 37 and 9 with five cards left just not not possible well, that was weird because now he has to do mills, but okay. That was a little weird. Um, To kill the, to kill the, uh, he still will crush me, but it was a little weird to kill the Siag, I think. I don't know. Probably it's fine. I am just not getting the, the chariot race hits. Despite now having, I think, quite a bit better uh, deck for it, he still got better just for the whole game. If he found his duplicate, it's over. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this cannot affect the rest of the match, so I'm going to super blitz the rest. Well, there's only one more. Um, assuming he wants to play it. So, sorry, America. We did real bad. I did really bad. I only tied and lost. Um, and, yeah, Japan just was the better team.
what can you do here? Uh, well, there's plenty you can do here, of course. As you go, hermit peasant opening seems okay. You can do hermit. You could do like peasant loan, but I think I like hermit. Lots of good threes to gain. And good fours. <clears throat> All right, the goal is to be clicking on the buy instantly as much as possible. I looked away because he's thinking, but that's still the goal. If we can do it. This was quite lucky draw for me. Should I get a hermit or a, or should I get a madman or should I get an additional card? Kind of like the caravans, to be honest. He's going for tourneys, which are okay. Nothing wrong with them. This uh, hermit will be a, uh, I guess he could get a province. He may be doing the earlier province than I did. Going for that. And he gets the hovel trash, so that's good for him. I'm hitting these caravans for who knows what reasons. Fortunately, he didn't have the province in hand there. <clears throat> Prizes are pretty good here, to be honest. They're not the be-all, end-all of anything, but they're pretty good. Really, really nice for me to find the fugitive. Assuming he's mad manning again, yeah. This is a really great draw for me. Um, Would have been nice to play the peasant, but still not really a draw I can complain about, especially. Um... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could get a tournament. I do need to figure out how to get a grand market at some point. 
Maybe I can windfall later on. That's not too bad, actually. <clears throat> what hurts is that he was able to do it without getting a... Uh, without using the madman. That hurts a little bit. Okay, okay. I think I do want teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. It might have been better to do a hermit. Uh, whatever, a hermit thingy. Who's he, what's it? Uh, to disciple the hermit is the words I intended to say. Or is the meaning I intended to, to make? My goal here is merely to have so much draw that even my idiot brain can figure out some decent payload to do here. That's all I'm trying for. And I believe I can achieve it, but we'll see. Probably should have got a loan at some point. Maybe even just a dismantle for trashing coppers. Meh, you know, whatever. It would have been okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, where are you, brown teacher? No, no reserves. Shoot. Okay. That's going to slow me down a little bit. Not going to lie. But I do have a lot of those. So that part is cool. This part is sad. Followers isn't a huge deal. The huger deal at this point is just that the points lead with the piles he has. Kind of a, th a thing there. If I had found Let's say I had found the teacher before playing five more villages, then maybe I would have a have a shot. Um, you know, I still think I have a shot, but I do have a lot of these guys. And I'm playing them all. Hooray me. Okay. So how do we get How do we get money now? This is the question. Now he's playing his madman. Look at that. Pretty cool. Fortunately, he was down a card, so... He gets a gold. I don't like the bag of gold. Okay, I feel better. I feel better. Let's see if we can make some, some exciting things happen in this next turn. 
probably can't get province or get to his plus cards won't be as good as mine so that's something <clears throat> What do I get here? Maybe this guy. I don't have a disciple. We'll find out if he blocks. He doesn't block. That's cool. We get a couple, a uh, couple disciples here. I'm not going to complain about. Myself. Are these any good? I don't know. Pile's getting low. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't really have a draw for this anymore. <laughs> well, I can disciple villages, and maybe I do. Of course, he has those in hand, despite having that's it this is all of them but they're all in hand you can get a oh he didn't have the prompt in hand that's fortunate Princess would have been really nice. This order is really weird. Well, maybe he drew the trusty steed. Yeah, it's not that weird. So now we're approaching uh, pile out, and he has a big old points lead. He can also do uh, the exciting thing he can do is uh, feed him. You know, feed him trusty steed, which is fun, but probably not that great. I need him to have a pretty bad turn as far as that all goes. Like a pretty stinking bad turn. Um, I'm going to have to do this anyway. I might as well. Did I get... I did exchange for soldier. I probably wanted multiple buys more than anything. So that was probably really stupid. I know I want at least one buy. I don't know exactly how many I need to have, but... This is kind of hard. He gets to block. He doesn't have auto block on because he's playing at the height of Dominion. We get to do this, which is okay. Well, it's better than okay, right? It's all quite nice. <coughs> So the question is, will I live to see another day if I buy the grand markets and then I can disciple them? Or will I just be throwing away any chance I have by allowing him to score more in maybe lower piles? Maybe empty piles, right? The piles could be gone. But I can tie him, in which case he'll have a tougher time. However, if I go for the grand market thing, I can 
fall even further behind and not really improve my deck that much. <laughs> which which would you choose? Um, provinces are probably okay. Okay, I'll just do this. I'll just do this. If I had had 14, maybe I would have split them, but... I think I'll keep that. Well, I can get by now, right? I can put by on caravan or something. He has those villages. Those are all... He doesn't... He didn't trash that much. Well, he didn't trash any copper, same as me. He doesn't have the caravans. But this is what he gets. That's okay. We, we just... We get it here. We'll triple. I don't think I can triple. But I can get sort of close. I wasn't that far from it. If I get the diadem, I can triple. <clears throat> Pretty sad, though. Because I'll probably just draw dead, even though I have 30 cards. Okay. Um, let's put the uh, plus buy on the, on the caravans. I think I still have... Couple of those, right? How many did I draw at the start? Three. So I should have three. That should be the thing I can get the most of. Um, this could go very, very sad, though, just right off the bat. Really easily. I need to find those disciples so I can disciple these. There we go. Now we're in. Now we're in the game, sort of. Um, do we can we take the diadem right now, or try to take just taking it now? Win. It's worth like eight bucks or something. Eleven. I think it's quite there. Okay, now I think it's actually okay to play the tournament and take the diadem no matter what. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, we should trash the curse now and I guess gain an estate. I think it's all guaranteed from here. I shouldn't have played the soldier, but whatever. Look at this exciting diadem plays. Just what we always wanted to see. Ooh. Thanks everyone for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all later.